This is the veined octopus, found in the waters of Indonesia. Octopuses are renowned for both their intelligence and curiosity. And now Dr. Julian Finn, a Latrobe PhD graduate at Museum Victoria, has observed some extraordinary behaviour. I, I first came across this octopus in Indonesia when I was diving looking for a completely different type of octopus. And I, I came across this coconut shell that was on the seafloor and, you know, as I got close I saw it move and I realised that there was an octopus underneath. So I just settled down with my camera, not far, about this far away from the shell, and just, just sat there and watched, just in wait to see what, wait and see what would happen. Normally an octopus will push out an arm or it might scuttle away, but to my surprise this octopus suddenly flipped the shell over, jumped up on top, lifted the shell up, up under its body and ran away. And I mean, I've seen a lot of behaviour from octopus over the years, but I'd never seen something like this. It was, it was an extremely comical sight. Working with his colleague, Dr. Mark Norman, Julian has spent more than 500 hours underwater studying the veined octopus. After talking with Dr. Tom Tregenza of the University of Exeter, they became aware of the significance of what they had seen. Well, the interesting thing about this behaviour was that while the octopus was actually carrying the coconut, it was actually of no benefit to it. It was actually probably making it more vulnerable. It had this big shell underneath its body and it was running on its arm tips. And I followed it for some time and when it got close to another shell, it pulled the two together and enclosed itself within this sort of protective armour. So the interesting thing about this behaviour is that the collection and transport of the shell is actually for later use. So under current definitions of tool use, it, it's considered a tool. It's, it's kind of like us, I guess, carrying an umbrella in case it rained. I mean, this octopus was finding shells, manipulating them, carrying them along, knowing that it might need them in the future, and then when it feel, felt threatened, it put them together in a protective case and hid inside. So it's sort of that, that anticipation of needing it that, that was interesting. This was the first time that tool use had been reported in invertebrates, and has changed the way that scientists regard these animals. Uh, up till now, tool use has been something that lots of scientific studies have said is associated with complicated animals like humans and primates and advanced birds. And I think this octopus discovery really turns things around and makes us realise that lots of different animals are probably using objects in much more complicated ways than we thought. So for this octopus to stack and carry these coconut shells and then deploy them as armour when it needs to, it fits the formal definitions of tool use. So it's caused a bit of a stir in the tool use theory world, but I think it just challenges our view that it's not just the clever humans that are doing it, but lots of animals out there are using objects in really complicated ways. While these observations are significant, this fantastic discovery is just the beginning of the knowledge the oceans have to offer. I think marine systems are particularly um, rich ground for these sorts of discoveries. There's so little wild observation of marine creatures in their natural environment. There's, there's little enough for shallow water, let alone the deep stuff, that I think there's all sorts of stories we know nothing about. We really are touching the tip of the iceberg in terms of animal behaviour, animal evolution and these sorts of complex behaviours. We've always known that complex behaviours were, were things that humans could do and other higher vertebrates I guess monkeys and whatnot and we knew that birds some bird species use tools and whatnot but it's not something that we normally associate with the lower invertebrates I mean octopus are related to snails they're they're not really considered to be that smart but here we had an octopus doing an extremely complex behavior with what appeared to be foresight to use a tool at a later date and and that was what was really interesting that such lower invertebrates I guess you could say were capable of such complex behaviours.